And our chest will constantly be attacked by shaitan, dirtying it. Allah says, الَّذِي يُوَسْوِسُ فِي صُدُورِ النَّاسِ Sudur is our glass. And he'll keep making it dirty. And we constantly have to what? Clean, 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 clean. And the moment you stop cleaning, guess what's happening? It started getting dirtier and dirtier. And if you let it go for a long time, it gets so dirty, you won't even know it's a glass. And you won't even know it's a lamp inside. And even if the lamp is on, guess what happens when the glass is too dirty? The light doesn't come out. The light is trapped inside. If it, if it gets too dirty, it's not even a lamp anymore. You understand? So you're suffocating it. You and I have been given this heart. And this heart has been preserved by something pure that Allah gave us. And that's actually a ruh. A ruh. That ruh is light. And Allah gave it from the skies. The angel delivered it into your mother when she was still expecting you. And you still have it inside you. But that ruh needs to constantly be what? Preserved. You can suffocate it, you can make it dirty, and it, it itself is pure. The glass is pure, but you can cover it with dirt. And you can cover it with sins. And you can cover it with forgetfulness. You can cover it with all those things. He says, on its own, it's perfectly pure, even at night. You can see the, the, the sparkle in it. You can see that it's not even from this world. He says, يُقَدُ مِن شَجَرَةٍ زَيْتُونَةٍ مُبَارَكَةٍ مُبَارَكَةٍ زَيْتُونَةٍ لَا شَرْقِيَّةٍ وَلَا غَرْبِيَّةٍ This lamp is fueled by an oil that comes from an olive tree. Let's talk about this olive tree for a second. Allah says this olive tree is blessed and it's not eastern, not western. Well, what does that mean? That means it's an olive tree in the middle of the desert, one tree by itself. When the sun rises, it falls on the tree, yes? And when the sun falls, it still falls on? The tree. If the tree was in the middle of a forest, it only gets light from the top. If the tree was on one side of the forest, it gets light when the sun rises, but it gets no light when the sun falls. But if the sun, if the tree is just by itself, as soon as the sun comes up, it's constantly getting exposure from what? From Allah's light. From Allah's light. Allah is telling us there's something inside us. The fuel that we have inside us is actually forever connected to Allah's light is forever connected to Allah's light. It's not on the eastern tip, it's not on the western tip, it's connected to something higher than that, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there's something pure inside every single human being. It's so powerful that even a killer like Fir'aun, Allah said to Musa, go talk to him, لَعَلَّهُ يَذَّكَّرْ أَوْ أَنْ يَخْشَى Maybe he will benefit from the reminder, maybe the light inside of him is still there, and you can remove some of the mountains of dirt he's put on it. But the light is still there, so don't give up on him. When Allah describes that, Allah is telling us something amazing about each and every human being. Every human being that Allah has ever created is good. Every single one of them is good. Every single one of them has something pure that can only come from Allah inside of them. They only come from Allah. That ruh that was so powerful that Allah gave to Adam alayhi salam, we have been given from that ruh all of our arwah. And that is coming from the command of Allah Azza wa By the way, what he put inside of us is, is called what? Ruh. It's called what? Ruh. And one of the names of the Qur'an in the Qur'an is Ruhan Min Amrina. The Qur'an is also called a Ruh. The Qur'an is that pure. The purity of the Qur'an is now compared to the purity of what is given inside of the human being. What Allah has put inside each and every human being. Every human soul is sacred. It's pure. Nobody gets to say about themselves, I'm a, ter I'm a dirty human being. I'm a filthy human being. No, you may have done filthy things to dirty yourself, but inside of you, there is something pure and it can still come back. The, the, so long as you're breathing, so long as you're still alive, there is a chance that you can restore your light. If there was no good left in you, Allah would not keep you alive anymore. He would not keep you alive anymore. This is Allah's sunnah. Allah's sunnah is, He keeps people alive so long as they have the opportunity to get a way to come back. So no one, no human being is beyond hope. We think people are beyond hope. When you don't like somebody, you say that's a lost cause. Allah says, if you clean yourself, as a, if you keep yourself pure as a human being, you'll notice something. When people don't cover their life with fake things, when people actually take a step back and think about what it means to have purpose in life, it doesn't even matter if they're Muslim or not. So long as they're a decent human being, they are going to start seeking something. They're trying to catch light. They're trying to find something. The light that Allah put inside you since you were born, 
now gets to meet the light that Allah sent from the highest heavens, the light of the Qur'an. Those two lights meet with each other. And now you can see. You remember how I started? If you have the light of your eyes, but you have no light outside, you can't really see. If you have the light of the outside, but you have no light in your eyes, you can't see. So if the Qur'an is there, but your heart isn't clean, you can't see even if you're listening to the Qur'an. And if you have a clean heart, and you still haven't been given a chance, the, your vision is still limited. You, don't, you may have some light here and there, but it's not Allah's light. It's like you have a lamp in the middle of the night, but it's not like the sun came out and everything is lit. When you get exposed to, the, to Allah's light, then everything changes. Your reality completely changes. Everything is redefined. It's like you're in a different world altogether. Your worldview has completely been shaped.